Hi, and welcome to another policy video from Gravity.io. This time it's the Validate Request Policy. A really powerful policy which essentially allows you to validate incoming HTTP requests to make sure that they contain headers that you'd expect or those headers contain the correct value. So let's get started by heading over to the API Manager. So at the moment, our Acme travel plan doesn't have any policies. So let's head over to Postman and make sure that it's working correctly. So let's send the request and you can see that that data is coming back with a status 200. Okay, just do it again. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so now let's look for the validate request policy. There we go. It's just there. Let's drop that in. Now at the moment, what we can see is that our, um, the request that we're sending in does not contain an extra header at all. It's just got X root and time, but it doesn't contain any extra headers. But now let's actually, um, in the validate request policy, let's um, force it to actually have an X customer ID header. So now let's save that. So we're going to say it's a bad request if it doesn't have this particular header. Okay, and it shouldn't be null, essentially. So let's save that, let's deploy that, and okay. And now if we go back to Postman, now that's deployed and hit send, then it's gonna say that the message is not valid. And that message is actually coming from the uh, message template that we're saying. So is not valid too. Let's just add to there just to change the the message so that we can customize the message. Let's pull that across and um, let's send that again. And you can see that the valid two comes in. So you can customize the the message coming back as well. So very straightforward policy. What we've got is that it's saying that the request should contain the request headers should contain an X customer ID. So at the moment it's not working and it's got a bad request. Now let's actually add in that header. This time we've added that um, customer ID value five. And you can see as soon as we add it in, then it um, succeeds. If we take it out, then it fails again. So it's adhering to that particular set of rules that we've just quickly added. And it's so straightforward to make sure that your HTTP requests are have got the correct headers coming through and you're able to validate them in a very straightforward, easy policy, which is actually super useful as well. Thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, bye.